Hi guys, this is May and welcome to Cooking 101. Hi guys, it's May here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Cooking 101. It's another day, another dish, another vlog. So for today, we're going to make dinuguan. And these are all my ingredients for my dinuguan for today. So let's start over here. This is a uh, fresh blood when I bought it, guys, but uh, I froze it because I don't use it right away. So, um, so I have that. And this one here, it's, uh, two pieces of red onions. And I chopped it. I have here some scallions, uh, fresh grind black pepper. Over here we have the yellow and orange uh, bell peppers. This is like three pieces of uh, pig ears. I already boiled this one for, you know, about an hour, and they are soft and but still crunchy. They're not overcooked. This one is two kilo of just pure all white meat. I have here five pieces of the garlic chopped in a little tiny slices like that. Of course, I have my ginger and the nor seasoning mix. And um, I was supposed to use lemongrass on this one, but I ran out. But if you guys have any lemongrass available, it's better if you guys put it. Um, I didn't use any... Um, inside parts of the pig like the stomach the towel um i don't really like eating those things so anyhow um let's go start cooking you guys okay guys the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some cooking oil on our pan so i'm going to use three to four tablespoon of cooking oil and the cooking oil that i'm using for today is the pure oliva it's a pure olive oil but you guys can use any cooking oil that you guys want. So now we're going to saute our ingredients. First, we start with the garlic. If you guys want to start uh, sauteing your onions, it's still okay. It doesn't matter. So we're just going to wait for the garlic. We're just going to wait for the garlic to turn into kind of like a golden color. Next, we're going to put the ginger. And the onions. Oh, sorry guys. There, now you guys can see. I have a lot of onions here. So we're just going to mix them all up. So we're going to let this one simmer for at least 5 minutes. Okay, next we're going to saute the pig ears and the meat. Let's start with the meat. We just have to mix this one very well to make sure that all of our meat is covered with all the spices that we put in. Okay, next we're going to add the pig ears. To let this one simmer for 10 minutes and usually guys with meat they produce its own water so we don't have to worry about them get, getting burned but we just have to reduce the amount of heat on our stove so with the heat that I have I lower it to medium or to simmer Okay, and then we're going to cover them up. So let's cover them. 
and we wait for around 5 minutes. Okay friends, after 10 minutes, let's check our meat. Mm. Mix this one up. Next, we're going to add our pork blood. Since my pork blood is still frozen, I'm just going to put this one in the middle. And I'm going to cover them up. Okay friends, after 5 minutes, let's check our meat again. Hmm. Just gonna mix this one up. We just have to mix them very well. Make sure that it's mixed with the meat and all the ingredients that we put in. And then after this, we're going to season this. Okay, so we're going to add our green onions, the black pepper, and our nor seasoning mix. Let's give this one a good mix. And as you guys can see, to tell the difference if, it, if the blood is already cooked or not, the color is still very red, so it will take some time. And we're also going to put some salt on this, but we're, we're going to do that later. Okay, and for now, we're going to cover them back again, and we're going to let them simmer again for another half an hour. But always remember to put the stove in medium heat or in simmer so they don't get burned. Okay, so let's cover them up one more time. And we wait for half an hour. Okay, guys, after half an hour, in half an hour, we need to mix them in between. So every 10 minutes or every 5 minutes, you guys have to mix it. Okay, next, we're going to add our yellow and bell peppers. And we keep mixing. <clears throat> At this point, we need to keep on mixing it, you guys. Okay friends, this is our finished product. This is our dinuguan. Oh, you guys, you have to try my recipe. If you like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed on my channel yet, you guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day everyone. And may the good Lord bless us all. There you go. Okay, friends, this is our finished product. This is our dinuguan. 
If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed on my channel yet, you guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and have a blessed day, everyone. And may the good Lord bless us all. Sandali lang pang, sandali lang. One minute. Okay friends, this is our finished product. This is our dinuguan. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed on my channel yet, you guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day everyone. And may the good Lord bless us all.